everybody. It has been a really, really long time since I've popped in and I'm so sorry. I kept meeting to make a video and it's just, um, there's just been so much going on. I haven't really like had a chance to just stop. Josh is over here. Josh is over here bending over in front of me. <laughs> um, so first of all, we have moved. Um, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, as soon as we got a chance to, we were going to move and we did. Um, we moved almost a thousand miles away actually. Um, and we are now living in Michigan. I'm not going to tell you exactly where, um, I feel safe enough just saying Michigan and I am staying with a very, 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 very good friend of mine who has been like family to me. So we call each other family and we've been, Josh and I have been accepted into their family as if we were born into it. So, um, I'm living with, um, with a, yeah, a, a very, very close friend who is, is like a sister to me. And, um, we appreciate everything. Like, I mean, literally everything, um, that she's done to help us. Um, I mean, even our own families have never made us feel the way that we feel here. Like so completely accepted no matter what happens, you know, this is the way families should be. And it's, it's something that I'm still struggling to get used to because I've never had a real family situation before. And Josh is used to being the one to do for everybody, not have things done for him. Like, like the way we've experienced it since we've been here. So, um, it is beautiful here. It is, oh my God, there's water everywhere and it is so clean. The air is so fresh. And it's like, everybody here is so nice. I thought they were nice in South Carolina, but here they are super freaking nice. Like we went to a gas station and they were out of big cups and we said, oh, you're out of cups. And she like stopped, walked around the counter and actually put cups in right then and there for us, which that doesn't sound like a big deal, but where we were living, they wouldn't have done that. Um, we went to Walmart and at Walmart, uh, I needed some fabric cut, you know, to cover up behind the bed and stuff. And this girl came, she, it wasn't even her department. She's like, Oh yeah, sure. I'll help. And she wanders right over and she didn't even know what the hell she was doing, but she, she did it for us. And when she couldn't figure out what to do, she asked for help from another employee. And as soon as she paged him on the walkie talkie, he came <laughs> and we're like, Holy shit. And she thanked us for waiting for her. And we're like, no, thank you for coming and helping. Um, Yeah, and apparently South Carolina stores were the model stores, but no, here in Michigan, I mean, they are the picture of customer service. They are so polite. They are so nice and accepting, and I have not run across any negativity in the, like, month and something we've been here. Um, let's see. For the downside, quickly, I'm just going to interject with negativity before I go on to more positivity. Um you know, Josh had lost his job before we left and he still hasn't been able to find another one. I have lost my job. Um, apparently I, well, not apparently, but I was on a contract. Um, and I mentioned before the contract could end at any time and it did like the week we got here. So that sucks. And I, I feel really stressed out because, um, there's no more income. There's no more money. Um, thankfully we're here somewhere safe because if that, if this had happened before we moved, I don't know what we would have done, but, um, luckily we got here and then I lost my job. Um, and now it's just stress trying to survive with no income. Our car is shut off. It was shut off before we left from non-payment because you know, it's like $300 every two weeks and without income, we can't afford that. So, um, there are things that are really stressful. Um, not anything about like living situations or anything anymore, but just life in general. I mean that, that really sucks because now we're like, I just feel like we're, we're mooching and like we're living off of, you know, these people that have let us stay here. And I don't like feeling like that. I don't like being like that. So we've been looking for work and, um, just, you know, trying to get, just trying to get everything started and sorted. And I still haven't finished unpacking and putting things away because I got sick and I'm still sick. Uh, I don't really know what happened or what I have, but, um, like my entire throat is covered in phlegm 
and I have uh, lost my voice and then I got my voice back and now it's just it's like I'm wearing a turtleneck of phlegm and it doesn't matter what medicine I take it's not helping like I cough and cough and I can barely spit anything out I can barely move it um, it's hard to breathe like I lay down and I, I, I can feel myself struggling to breathe because it hurts so much um, and it's been like this for over like a, what about a month now Almost, yeah. yeah and it it doesn't show any signs of going away and actually it feels like it's getting worse because now my nose is running I'm sneezing I'm coughing all the time cannot budge the phlegm I don't feel COVID, yeah as far as I know I don't have COVID but um because I've been sick too long for COVID but um I've got phlegm and uh now I feel like I'm starting to run a fever I'm not entirely sure but I do feel dizzy and lightheaded and my knee has given out on me so now I have to wear a knee brace when I go out because my knee starts to cramp up and pop and I don't know what that's all about so that sucks <laughs> but um yeah aside from that um, we just spent the weekend at a beautiful cabin um, I've got little snippets of video about our move and some scenery on the way here and the cabin and where we live like the the backyard and everything so I'm gonna add snippets after this um, I didn't record as much as I wanted to because I'm I'm not feeling good we were short on time we were packing we had a lot of work to do and it was just we just ran out of time and a lot of our trip was at night so being at night you couldn't really see much so um there's unfortunately not as much to show as I had planned on but I still do have some stuff to show you guys and um so yeah we um so the person we're staying with their son um, the other parent, um, their new relationship, uh, they are buying a campground or renting to own or whatever, uh, a campground that includes like a store, a campground and, um, a, a motel and things like that. <coughs> Sorry. So, um, uh, Josh came we all went this weekend to help, so we're allowed to stay in this cabin, like, rent-free over the weekend while, you know, the boys helped a little bit, and we had, like, a bonfire, and, you know, had to have the, had to, we're allowed to have the dog there and stuff, and it was really nice. It was just beautiful. There's so much space there and water. There's, like, a river, and um, we've been offered to actually go back for a couple weeks, a couple months, whatever we want, and stay there rent-free, get um, get fed and you know whatever we want um, can't get paid because they're just they're trying to get it uh, set up they don't really have a lot of extra money to pay but you know to stay in a place like that rent free for however long we want I mean that's a really good trade so if we can't find jobs in the meantime we might spend like a week there and then you know come back here uh, it just sounds like a really good way to get out and about you know because I've been homebound for so long just the ability to be out and about is amazing to me and since we've been here I've gotten to see a whole bunch of stuff already um, before anyone says anything um, we have one dog right now because we got rid of the little one because Misha has turned into a huge bully and she was grabbing the other one's collar throwing her down on the ground completely bullying her she wouldn't listen at all she wouldn't let her eat she wouldn't let her play with us play fetch she would just come and cut her off and we tried uh, working with her and we, we couldn't stop the behavior in time to uh, let the other one have like a good life. Do you know what I mean? Like, I mean, we could have worked with her for a few more months, I guess, but uh, I just didn't feel like that was a good life for the little girl. You know, she was starting to show behavioral problems because of getting bullied and I just we just wanted to put a stop to it before it was too late and so we rehomed her to this wonderful family who drove like two and a half hours to get her whose dog had died um copy cake <laughs> the cats are super hyper whose dog had died um on uh, Valentine's Day actually and they were looking everywhere for a little dog and um she's got a couple of kids and stuff and so she came all the way over here and met her and fell in love with her and so we let her have her and um, we've gotten some pictures and updates and she's like she seems really happy there like she's just not barky or 
showing any of the signs that we were starting to see in her and um, we just didn't have the ability to I mean I guess we could have waited and tried longer but we had already been working with Misha for a few months and she just got worse and worse with Natasha and I just didn't think it was fair on Natasha to be bullied around like that so I wanted her to go somewhere where she wouldn't be pushed around by a ginormous and very very strong German Shepherd so we're keeping Misha up by herself until we can work on her alone and make sure she's calmed down a bit so if we do end up getting her playmate later, we will not run into the same problems. So I just want to cut that in there before anybody says, well, didn't you have two dogs? Why is there only one dog now? Um, <laughs> uh, so the cats are loving it here because there's a lot of room where we're staying. It's like the length of the entire house. It's like an apartment under the house that is the entire size of the house. So there's so much room for them to run and play. And there's a bedroom there as well, like with the door. So they've got all this space and outside Misha loves it because there's I mean we're on like 30 40 acres of land here yeah and um, she's just loving to be able to run around I almost just started choking um, so all in all I mean the move has been amazing for us it has been exactly what we needed I mean most of the stress is gone once we can get some income or some money coming in um, even just like for necessities you know like we've got like I've got a I just got internet here for my job which then I lost um, internet bill is due um, we have a couple of other payments that are due and zero income so that's of course it's it's bad but at least I know like we won't be thrown out you know we are not gonna be out on our ass we are safe and we're in a strong building so I don't have to worry if there's like a hurricane warning or tornado warning we're in a ratty little trailer that's just gonna fly away and um, we might end up being able to get some land here and really build something like we had tried to do in South Carolina I mean Michigan seems like the most wonderful place full of opportunities when we decided to move out here almost every single person we came across was either from here or moved here so it's like all signs have been pointing us to Michigan and now that we're here, I mean, we're like, man, I wish we had come here a long time ago. Like Josh and I both are like, we should have come here a long time ago because it is the most amazing place. And they, there's like amusement parks and places to go fishing and lots of water and places to go swimming and just reasons to be outside. You know, I'll be able to take lots and lots of photos. Once I feel better, finish unpacking and getting it all set up here, you know, I'm easing myself into like getting dressed up again and wanting to go outside and take pictures and you know take my life back and then some and um that's what what we're hoping to do because I don't want to just wither away indoors I'm going to be 45 this year and most of my life has been spent by now indoors doing nothing just wasting away and I've got nothing to look back on or be proud of and I I really want to change that so um yeah, I guess that's about it. I will just add in some snippets of everything that I have recorded. And um, I might be gone for a little while because, you know, we are still trying to get our lives sorted here. I know we've been here like a month already, but um, there's there's a lot to do because, you know, we've got a lot of stuff. And trying to set it up and find places for everything, get acclimated and find jobs and things like that. Um, and then plus leaving because I want to be outside. I want to do stuff. And I don't want to have a camera in front of my face every second of the day. Um, it's just, uh, I'm not going to be like videoing as much at first until we get fully, fully settled in. So I just want to update everybody because I know it's been a long time since I've been around. So that's the story and I will see you guys when I get a chance. Say bye, Josh. Bye, Josh. Bye, Josh. Bye. Bye. <laughs> it is uh, 6.30 in the morning. And uh, Josh and I are still getting ready to move. Um, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> We're still getting ready to move. Um, we've packed almost everything. Have not slept yet. Still need to load the truck. Still need to go pick up the truck. Pick up another dog cage. Um, load the truck and then start driving without any sleep. Which probably is not smart. But our power is going to get shut off by 5 o'clock. 
So we have no choice. We have to get everything out and done. Josh and I have, we are finally on the road. Woo. So let me, let me explain what we've gone through so far. We've only just left, but so yeah. Um, we did pretty good with the packing. You know, we, uh, <clears throat> we, <laughs> we spent three hours, um, we spent three hours on the first day packing up, and then um, we were so tired. I don't, I don't know. We hadn't slept. Is what it was because we were packing, packing, packing. We got the truck. We spent three hours loading the truck. Is what I'm trying to say. And then um, after that, we uh, um, we went to Sam's Club to get some medication, and then we came home and we slept for about four hours. And then we woke up the next day. Well, we woke up at around what one o'clock in the morning, and finished packing up and getting things organized. Started loading the truck again. We kind of knocked out. It is 3:37 p.m. right now, so um, it took us a long time to get everything sorted. We got everything sorted. Got the animals situated. Yeah. But the thing is, what happened was. Um, the car died. Um, the car died, and so we can't open the trunk. After we got it, After we got it on, yeah, on the um, the dolly, and it's just been, oh my god, it's been such a nightmare. Just trying to get sorted, just trying to get on the road. It's just like nothing has really kind of worked out. It's just, oh my god, it's it's so hard. But we're on the road now, and we've got like 17 hours ahead of us. So. Uh, that's gonna be fun, <laughs> but I will I will video more. All as right, we're going so on. here's the view what we're seeing right now. Um, our first couple minutes on the trip. <laughs> uh, the sky is blue. It's brisk outside, and uh, we are journeying together towards a new chapter in our lives always trying to improve our lives. It usually doesn't work out, but it seems like everything has been pushing us to this this time. Like, everything. All signs have been pointing to this. And, uh, just having family around and just feeling safe and wanted and appreciated and, you know, in an environment where we can also help and show appreciation and everything and not be alone. <laughs> It'll be great. And uh, we're super excited. It's going to be a long trip, so I'm not going to record too much. I'll record a little bit going through each state, just because it's interesting. Yeah, it's I don't know where we are, but there's mountains <laughs> over there and up there. It's so pretty. Some of the trees are beautiful colors. And it's really hot in the sun and it's really cold in the shade. They get a house up there. pretty those trees are. Smoky Mountains National Park.
<laughs> I love tunnels. <laughs> Oh yeah. That was a short one, but it was pretty. Woo! We're in Tennessee! Oh my gosh, I've never been to Tennessee before! Yeah. I actually have. No, you I'm have? A, a pigeon, uh, no, uh, I didn't go to Pigeon Forge, I went ice skating. I didn't even I see... I didn't even see the notification for it. Like. I I just saw a sign saying Kentucky State Line. We were just in Kentucky, so we're probably going through, I think it said like Ohio, Indiana and Ohio. We're gonna pass through. We're at Dry Ridge and Owenton, wherever that is. I haven't, we haven't passed the state line sign yet. But um, it's nice and bright out here. It's like, it's so cool seeing other places and I love all the, the truck stops, you know, I mean, we've only stopped twice, but, um, I love the truck stops that sell all kinds of different stuff that you don't usually see. Big cities and wherever the hell we are, uh, we're six hours out. Almost seven hours away from home. <laughs> and, uh, it's unfortunate that it's so dark and we can't really see anything, but then again, there's not really a lot to see. I prefer to see, like, the bright lights anyway, and it's nice and empty. You should be able to see about the last two hours or something. Yeah. Probably from, like, five, six, seven, eight. So we're almost to Cincinnati? somewhere five seconds earlier than somebody else. <laughs> What's that? Is that a big old building? That looks like a Ferris wheel from here almost. Or like a drop tower. Like a carnival ride. That, that, that looks like a carnival ride. <laughs> Probably not a carnival ride.
skip two or three times. Oh, afternoon. Sorry, it's uh, uh, 104. And we are in Michigan. We have stopped at a rest area so we can kind of freshen up a little bit. Well, I did. We are 54 miles from Grand Rapids, Michigan right now. And um, we are very close. So we're really excited to finally get out of the car, get the animals out, let them eat and stretch. And then we have a lot of work to unpack ahead of us and then just the rest of our lives, right? That's really pretty. I don't know why I'm filming like we're not gonna be here yeah. forever, but first impressions, you know. That's really nice looking. I love water. I, I always, even when I was in New Zealand and I hated being there and I complained all the time, I never ever got tired of seeing water everywhere. Look at that. Yeah. That is pretty. That would be fun. Walking fast. <laughs> I'll walk as fast as my little legs can carry me. <laughs> Oh, fact, I'll breathe now. Mm -hmm. <gasps> <Nice thing. laughs> and when you haul ass like that, it's actually really not far. back up at some point. Look at the ducks. So this is basically our new backyard. <laughs> Everything we just walked through. All this. It's like what, uh, 30 acres? 34. Oh, what these, how she's hiding this thing. Excuse my tired face. I am so exhausted. Oh my god, I have hardly gotten any freaking sleep. But um, I was going to vlog this whole day, but I just, it's been a really, 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 really long day, so I have not. But um, Josh and I are out in a cabin in the woods, <laughs> and um, we are by the lake, and it is absolutely beautiful here. We're in this awesome little cabin. It's still kind of like being worked on. There's stuff going on. I'm going to turn this around so that I can share 
uh, what this place looks like because this is absolutely so, um, beautiful. We're here helping uh, these people. Well, the women are not. We are gonna just take pictures and have like a girls day, but um, the the boys are gonna be cleaning and organizing and they're renting out this lakeside property and they're getting it ready to um, you know open up for the summer and things like that so they're in the process of renovating and you know we're in the third cabin that hasn't been renovated yet but you can see what it will be when it is clean so the, I'm in the bathroom right now so this is a bathroom it's just a normal little bathroom um, and then you got your kitchen area here and then this is the bedroom area again everything's still going to be replaced and you know cleaned up and renovated and all that stuff um kitchen kitchen there's the door sliding glass door table with all my junk um futon heater we brought our dog so we got misha's bone and her water and everything and uh up there is a loft which if i can climb it because i've been having knee problems lately I am going to be sleeping up in that loft with Josh, and that is going to be cool as shit. And it is dark right now, so I'm not able to show, you know, um, the outside. So tomorrow I will show the outside, and they're going to have like a whole little store and a little shop and everything, and it's just going to be really cool. I can see what this place will be when it's all fixed and put together, and it, it seems like it's going to be amazing. There's my ugly face. I saw the uh, spatula and I thought it was an animal for a second. <laughs> Are you I didn't do that. For yeah. A well, I'm recording the no horizontal video. I want to catch all the views. Misha, where'd you go? There's no food left at the campfire. What are you doing? Dang, that burned out completely. Nice. She's like, I'm not ready to go in. I want to run around. Did she hit her pig ear? Uh, she's too hard. Come on. Big bone. She likes big bone. <laughs> you want to go inside? You got to wipe your muddy feet off first. Make sure your paws aren't muddy. Make sure they're not muddy. <laughs> this is the top of them now. Big girl. Oh, I know. She wants to go inside and see everybody. It's okay. <laughs> Let's
Isn't that water like beautiful? Wow. Water looks like it'll be nice and warm too. So peaceful out here.